Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. So after the weekend break, we are back again and I hope you guys enjoyed the Naughty 5 series on the Sudokus that we have presented for you. So it's been a long time since we visited a classic and I thought why not explain another advanced technique that is commonly used by some of the top players or rather most of the top players in the world. And these advanced techniques are such that is basically the difference between, sorry, solving a tough puzzle in 10 minutes or under five minutes. And this technique that we are going to have a look at today is known as the X, Y chain. Now this technique is nothing but an advancement or an enhancement over the X, Y wing that we had seen earlier. Right? So, if you remember what the XY wing was, right? It was basically, I had a combination of two digits here, a second pair here, and the third pair of digits, that is A, B, B, C, and C, A. And if these were marked in gray, then we looked at the common cell, right? which is the body to the extreme two cells and eliminate the digit which occurs in both the extreme cells. So here it was A because if this was a B, this would be an A. If this was a C, this would be an A. And in either scenario, A cannot occur in the gray cell, correct? Now our XY chain is nothing but, as I said, a enhancement on this. That is, it is a chain of such pairs which are there in more than three cells. So let's say, for example, I have my AB here. This is my BC. And instead of a CA, let's assume I had a CD here. And here is where I have my A and B. So now, this chain is of four cells and the digit at the extreme is A. So we look at the body cells to these extreme cells, right? And let's mark them as green. This is one and this, these three would be the other body cells. What it means is, irrespective of what the positioning of the digits is, the digit A, which is common to both the extreme cells of this chain, cannot repeat on these cells which are marked in green. Now let's see, if this is an A, the first one that is, then obviously the green cells cannot contain the digit A. But if this were a B, okay, this were a B, this would become my C, this would be a D, and this would become an A. And again, in this scenario, the digit A cannot repeat in the cells that are marked in green. And this is how you use the chain. And again, this is not limited to just, what do you say, four cells, a chain of four cells. <coughs> it can even go up to five, six, depending on if you can identify the pairing. So for example, if I have my AB, BC, CD, D, E, and let's say E, A. So now, my chain is starting here, 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 and here. And since A, B, and E, A are cells, are the ones which are the extremes. So again, we look for the body cells. This would be one, four, which again means if I follow the chain, the common digit at the extreme, which is A, cannot repeat in the cells which are marked in green. And you can use the same logic. I mean, if this was an A, obviously the, the green cells cannot contain an A. But if this was a B, this would become a C, this would be a D, this would be an E, and this would be an A. And again, the green cells are buddy to this uh, cell at row 3, C1, which has an A. And the A cannot repeat in the green cell. 
Now, believe me, these techniques come in handy in solving very tough Sudokus. And you can only identify this if you are into the habit of noting down pencil marks. Because without pencil marks, you will never be able to identify these chains. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at one example Sudoku where we use this. And I'm giving the link in the description of the video. So you can go to that link, try to solve the Sudoku online on your own. All right. So let's start off. I have a nine. I have a nine. This is a nine. So I get a nine here. Nine, nine, nine. Okay. Nine cannot be in these three. It cannot be here. So this is my nine. The nine, nine, nine can't be here. We already got a nine. So this is my nine. 9, 9, and the final 9. 7, 7, I get a 7 here. Alright. Now next would be 3, 3, 3. 6 cannot be in column. 6, it can't be here. This is my 6. 6, 6, it can't be here. So this is a 6. This becomes a 6. And 6, 6. The final six. All right, we got all the six. Eight, eight. That's an eight. So the pencil marks of four, five are the only ones left. Seven, seven. That's a seven. Seven cannot be here. It can't be there. So that's a seven, which makes this a four, five. The four, five would become here. This also would be a four, five because the two of box two is logged in column six, right? Now what? Hmm. Oh, three cannot be here. It can't be here. So this is a three. Three is not here. It's not here because we already got the three, and that's my three. Five of box three is logged in column nine. So this can't be a five. This can't be a five. This can't be a five. So the only place for 5 in row 9 is in row 9, column 8. Let's look at the pencil marks. 2 and 8 are not there. So this is 1, 4, 1, 4, 8, 1, 4, 8. Again, for row 5, I require 1, 4, 5. So that's a 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 4, 5. And in column 8, we got a pair of 1, 4, right? So this has to be the remaining 2, 8 which makes this a 1, 4 again. This is a 2, 4, 5, 2, 4. I can't have a 1, 2, 3 is possible, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is possible, 9 is not possible, okay. And here it would be 1, 2 is possible, 3 is possible, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3 is possible, sorry, 7 and 8. Okay, this one had 4, 5, 8, right? So this was a 5, 8. This was a 4, 8. 1, 4, 5, 3. Okay, this is 1, 3, 4, 5. 1, 3, 4. And this also would be 1, 4. Because the 8 of box 9 is logged in the row 9. Now, <clears throat> we have filled in so many pencil marks. Obviously, there's no proper breakthrough coming out. Now, I'll give it a pause for a few seconds. And let's see if you can identify the chain in this Sudoku. I'll pause for a few minutes because I want you guys to solve with me. So, let's see if you can identify that. All right. If you were able to identify the chain, congratulations. You're on the verge of becoming an expert solver. So, as I said, we need to look for cells which have only two options. And the first thing that I noticed in row seven, I had three options, but this four eight obviously would be connected to five eight, four five, correct? But this becomes a trial, the chain cannot extend. But if I were to look at this 5, 8 with a 4, 5, so 5 is repeated. Now I require a 4, 2 and a 2, 8. 
So if 8 was your A and 5 was a B, this is AB, BC, where 4 is the C, CD, where D is your 2, and then finally your DA, which is the 2A. Right? And the body cell to the extreme of this chain is this. And now you know what, what would be our next step? That's right. So the digit which is repeating at the extremes can be eliminated from here. So I can safely eliminate the 8. And this becomes a 3. So now I have a 3, 3. So this will be my 3. This becomes a 3. Now we have wrapped up all the 3s. The 5 cannot be in column 1. So this is a 5, this is a 4, that becomes an 8. So with the 4 gone, that's my 2, that's an 8, and that's a 2. So this is a 5, 4, 1, 4, 1. That's a 4, 8. So that's a 1, and this becomes my 4. The last digit, 7, 7, 7. This becomes a 7, sorry. That's a 7. This will be a 4 because I require a 4 in box 2. So that's a 5 and a 2. This is a 1, 8, 1, 8, 2, 8, 2, 5, 8. This again is a 2, 8. This becomes a 5. 1, 4, 8. So that's my 1, 4. And this would be 2, 4. 1, 2. The last digit here would be an 8, obviously. Okay, 8, 1, 2, 1. So this is 8. That becomes a 4. That's my 2 with an 8. The last digit, 1 here. So that's my 5, the last digit for the row, and the final 4. Oh, yes, and this would be my final. And the system says our solution is correct. Now you see how seemingly an impossible puzzle where there was no way we could proceed, a simple identification of this chain with the elimination of the digit 8 at row 4, column 3, simply opened up the puzzle and we just ran through the digits in the next two minutes. And believe me, you will be finding a lot of these chains propping up in especially the tough Sudokus that you will encounter in competition. Hope you guys enjoyed this and this was good learning for you. If you did, like the video, share it with your friends and let us know in the comments how you found this technique and whether it will be helpful to you or not. Because tomorrow I will be presenting another advanced technique. And I know when I came across this, I found this technique nearly three to four years after I had actually started solving Sudoku's and I felt like kicking myself why didn't I notice this earlier and believe me the next few techniques that we are going to see will be so obvious and so helpful and easy to understand that you'll be cracking the tough Sudoku's in no time so do go ahead try the Sudoku that is mentioned in the link let us know in the comments how you found it. Until tomorrow, happy solving.